Hey there. What I've decided to do is make a series of videos on two beat fills that are going to incorporate our bass drum in them. Now a two beat fill, all that means is that the, the fill is played over two beats. In this case, the fill is going to start on the three, you play through the beat of four, and our crash symbol to end the fill will be on the one of the following measure. 3E e and 4E uh, e and uh, 1. The crash symbol is not actually part of the fill. While it ends the fill, kind of like a punctuation, uh, it's actually starting the next measure. So, two beat fill is this. <clears throat> now notice, in this fill, we're going to play every one of the 16th notes. 3E e and 4E uh, e and da. Uh. <clears throat> So just practice that, put the crash symbol on the one, sounds like this, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, crash. Okay? So, as I said, we're going to incorporate the bass drum. So let me show you where we're going to put it for this fill. We'll stick it here on the uh, of three foot. So, now you're playing right, left, right, foot, right, left, right, left. Notice, I didn't speed up or slow down, I played consistent 16th notes. Just because they're 16th notes doesn't mean I have to play them fast, you can practice it slow. Okay? Um, and the way to keep yourself in time is focus on your right hand. Your right hand is going to play only the 8th notes. 3 and 4 and the left hand and the foot are covering the E's and the U's. Even when you go to that crash symbol, it's on the one, which is the eighth note. So you hit it with your right hand. So uh, watch this and see how it sounds. Okay, so now let's learn the rest of the fill. Notice I've changed a few things here. The notes that have the parentheses around them are going to be our toms. The other two drums besides the snare drum, the toms. The, the one up top is the one directly in front of you, the high tom. The one down low is your floor tom. So you're going to play the same pattern, right, left, right, foot, right, left, right, left. However, 3 E and a now is your snare, your high tom, your floor tom, your bass drum. 4 E and a then is your floor tom, your high tom, and then back to the snare for a right left. What I like about this fill is it kind of sounds like it's opening up and closing, it, closing in back on itself. See how it goes up and then goes back up, up, down, back up, and down. I really like the way that sounds. Um, so check it out. Uh, I'm going to play it real slow for you. Okay, so let's try and put this fill into time. So, 
What we're going to do first is just play one measure. The fill starts on the three. Right, left, right, foot. Right, left, right, left. One and two, and I just have your base, basic beat, bass, snare. One and two and three e and uh, four e and da. Uh. Once again, we're going to go to the crash symbol. That crash symbol will be with the right hand, and it's on the one of the following measure. So take a listen to how that is supposed to sound. Two, three, four. Okay, so now let's play it a little faster and let's put it into a two measure pattern. So now we're just going to play a basic beat, your bass drum on the one and the three, snare drum on the two and the four, it's just your basic back beat. And then our second measure, starting on the three, we're going to have the fill. Right, left, right, left, I'm sorry, right, left, right, foot, right, left, right, left. Crash and two and three and four and one and two and three e and a four e and a one. Okay, here it is. One, two, three, four. Okay, so for the next one we're going to play the same fill, but we're going to do it in, while playing a quarter note beat. So, our beat, now, your right hand is just playing quarter notes. One, two, three, four. Your right hand is going to continue playing quarter notes over here. One, two, three, four. The left hand and the foot are going to, going to be the ends. So, it's, it's the same fill though. Right, left, right, foot, right, left, right, left. What we're going to do is play this quarter note beat three times. The fill is now going to be our fourth measure. So it's just a four measure pattern that we're going to do over and over. So you play one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and crash. Take a listen how that sounds. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four.
for our last idea, we're going to play again a quarter note groove right here. We're going to play this beat three times again. Now our fourth measure, we're going to do the fill, same exact fill, we're going to change it back to sixteenth notes. Three E and a, four E and a. Now, when you're playing a quarter note groove, um, before the last one that we did, the fill was just twice as fast as the beat. If you notice, um, the beat was this: one, two, three, four, fill, and two, and three, and four, and right. It's just twice as fast. Well, this one's four times as fast. So if you're playing this beat really fast, this is going to be out of control. Okay. So we want to practice it really slow because even at a slow speed, the fill is going to be this. One, two, three E and a, four E and a. So uh, I'll play this measure once and do this measure once. I'm going to do that twice just so you can hear how fast that is. One, two, three and four. One, two, three E and a, four E and a. One, two, three and four. One, two, three E and a, four E and a. If you get really fast at it, you can do one, two, three, four, one, two, three and a, four and a, one, two. And it's super fast, you can impress all of your friends. So, um, I'll demonstrate that right now. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one.